Mesa Prize winning photographer is visiting Martin Regional Library tomorrow, part of the Hispanic Heritage Month. And we're so happy to have Jose Galvez with us this morning. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having and me back. Congratulations on the Pulitzer Prize. Well, it's wonderful. Thank you. It's been a while now. Yes. All right. Speaking of been a while, it's the quinceanera of the Hispanic Resource Center. Right. Uh, what does that mean for people who aren't aware? Well, that means their 15th anniversary. I mean, oh. traditionally, a quinceanera is a girl's 15th birthday party. But in this, in this occasion, it's going to be their 15th anniversary of providing Latino services through the library. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so will everyone get dressed to the nines and have a ball? I don't like think so. I think it's just going to be a, no, a, normal, a, a normal day, as, aside from my uh, giving a presentation and having an exhibit there. Okay. Tell us about this exhibit that you've brought with us. I know we have some photos. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's recent work that I've been doing. Uh, you know, this is uh, the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month, and mm -hmm. so I'm traveling across primarily the east and south. Okay. And so the this this image as you're looking at right now is in um, Harrisonburg, Virginia. A Latino couple waiting to place an order at an ice cream parlor. Mm -hmm. uh, this is in um, Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, Maria Hernandez who opened up this her Maria's Kitchen. And. Uh, this is in Columbus, Ohio. Oh. I was struck by, you know, traditionally the hotel people that clean the rooms are women. Yes. There's men. This oh, is here in Tulsa. Uh huh. Oh. I forget what it's high school. It's a grandmother holding her, her granddaughter, and they were um, watching a folkloric practice. Mm -hmm. uh, Springs Hill, Massachusetts, a Dominican Republic families coming into um, East Palm Sunday. Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. This uh, like Latino and this woman getting married, and and uh, this is in Welfare Barre, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. I was struck by the flags that were hanging, uh, Puerto Rican flag and American flag. And so I asked the kids, I said, "Oh yeah, my my dad's Puerto Rican and my mom's Anglo." So I like the mixing oh. of those cultures. So yeah, Represent that's what I do. Both. Yes, you put. Uh, you travel a lot. I do. Not just for your photographs, but for presenting them as well. Yeah, so I'll be, by the time I'm through in late October, I'll have gone to eight states, maybe nine. By the, I'm waiting to hear from Georgia. Uh -huh. uh, and I'm all driving, it's all driving. It'll be like about, about 8,000 miles. <laughs> On a rental car, though, right? On a rental car, yeah. <laughs> That's nice that you're not having to use uh, your own vehicle no, for no, that. No, so, that. Do, what, what takes you to a city to capture these photographs? Well, uh, I do some research and see is there a Latino presence mm -hmm. in, in the community like here in Tulsa there definitely is um, in Fayetteville where I, where I was at last night maybe not quite so much but right next to uh, Fayetteville is Springdale okay and home of Tyson yeah and so a big Latino presence and so I when I have some free time I'll go and, and look for the, the Latino presence workers families schools business you know the little taquerias and, uh -huh. and, and, and the tiendas and whatever else I can find. It's very classic street journalism mm -hmm. where I don't set anything up. I just, I'm, I'm driving around and if I see something, I stop the car, I jump out. And the people sometimes react like deers in headlights. Like, oh, who's a, who's a strange <laughs> man just... And he's taking our pictures. Yeah. <laughs> and I explain to them, you know, I speak Spanish, so I'm able to approach them with that. So, yes, yeah, it's very classic, like I said, street photography. It comes from my training as a photojournalist. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And you're able to bring that around to people. Yeah. And, and yeah. to us here with this traveling exhibition, what are you doing today in your talks? You're making a few stops I'm, here. I'm doing a talk at Central Library, I mean, Central High School uh, for a couple of classes there. And then, you know, we'll, we'll drive around. Uh, my friend Daniel Chaboya and I will drive around, and if something strikes me, we'll stop and take some pictures, go to a taqueria, have uh -huh. some lunch. And then tomorrow, like I said, will be the, the keynote presentation at 3 o'clock at the uh, live. I'll also have a little uh, exhibit there in the lobby for three to four hours that I'll be putting up. And it will have a couple of pictures from the Tulsa area oh, in there. Oh, great. So you're, you're, it's a dual work purpose. You're taking yeah. some photos and you're showing photos. Sure. And you're speaking about them as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm spending some money. And you're spending some money. We <laughs> love that. Consumerism yeah. here in Tulsa. We appreciate no, the dollars spent. One of the places I want to go to is, is uh, I think, Pancho's 
Yes. Uh, Pandaria. Oh, yeah. And go there and we'll go shopping and get some things and send them back to my wife as a surprise. So uh, That's yeah. very sweet. That's yeah. good thinking. Send stuff yeah. back to the lady. We appreciate you being Thank here you and for everything me. you're doing. Guys, we've got to tell you how you can go see Jose. Jose Galvez, tomorrow, 3 p.m., Martin Regional Library. It's 2601 South Garnett Road, 918. 549-7323, TulsaLibrary.org, JoseGalvez.com for more information about him.